Okay, um, yeah, no, not very good at this at all. This uploading schedule business, I hadn't uploaded a video for the last two weeks, but here it is anyway. It doesn't matter when it's coming out, I'm putting out videos, so I get to control it whenever I want to. But anyway, here's another video, so what's up, what's up guys, welcome to my channel. Uh, today, um, we're going to play with some new gear. I've acquired a new drone. Um, it's one of those FPV racing drones that you can strap your GoPro to. Um, I have the GoPro Hero 7 Black, so the hyper smooth on that. And other videos that I've seen that other people are doing with these drones are like insane. So I want to do some of that stuff and I want to see what sort of what sort of value that can add to different stories and perspectives and whatnot. But first I gotta learn how to fly it, which is completely different from flying the DJI stuff. Um very consumer and like beginner friendly flying those sort of drones. But these things you need to have a bit of a knack and a little bit of a practice to it as well. Oh, how's my snowboarding? Yeah, I said to be introducing or doing a lot more snowboarding on this um, on this vlog in this season as well, which I am, but I last session we went up, didn't film a whole lot, but I did film a little bit here, clips here and there. It was just a nice day. It's really good to ride, and I just was having a lot of fun with a lot of friends in the park. Big shout out to everybody who helped me out on the park, and also to Mitch who came up with me, um, Katina, uh, Kian, and Jared. Thank you for the tips. I actually hit the tube. I got onto the tube now and I wasn't afraid of it and I rode it just like little 50-50s and just chipping over the top, it's like top over it. Um, I need to like get more straight onto it and then lock onto the tube and ride it out and come off, maybe 360 off. No, not yet. <laughs> but yeah, no, thank you so much for helping me. My confidence rose from there and it's an intimidating thing like you're sitting at the top of the park and everyone else is going through, it's like so amazing and you're like, oh man, I wish I could just be like them and you can't see faces, so you're like, oh, you go into this whole anxious mode of like, what's everyone else thinking? But you know what? Don't worry about what anyone else is thinking and just do your own thing and just learn at your progression. Everyone's usually pretty nice and will help you out. So if they see that you're struggling with something or, and you still just, you just have like the urge and the confidence just to learn, I'm sure a lot of people will help you out. So don't be afraid. All right, so this is right here, is like your typical, DJI Mavic Air, oh Mavic Pro. So this is the one of the first editions, and this is what I have. This is what I run. It's a perfect camera um, and drone, and yeah, it's great. Love it. Use it a lot. Super easy. You can get some cinematic things with it and whatnot. But some things that this can do, the FPV can't do as well. Some things the FPV drone can do, this can't do. So I'm pretty excited to check it out. So this is a quadcopter I picked up. Pretty excited about it. Uh, you can see one of the big differences is obviously the size and the skeleton format of it. You can see all the wires and all the motherboards and everything that's on there. Um, what happens is that you have this camera, which allows you to see what you're doing with the goggles, and then you attach uh, a GoPro on top of that. This is the controller for the FPV drone. This thing's massive. It's got like all these gadgets and clicky things and and whatnot. And it's just kind of like a video game as such. And then you got this, which you um, attach your phone to, which is the, the Mavic Pro's controller and it's tiny. Um, and so these things drop out and you put your phone into it and you can film, um, change your settings on the camera and like focus points and everything on that, which is pretty rad. This doesn't, you're just writing like running gun, like a GoPro on top of it. So that's the the two differences between that. Can we just quickly take two seconds to admire this pink hoodie, how cool it is. Uh, these are my friends at Gear Seekers. If you wanna go check them out, they have a YouTube channel and they talk everything about gears, computers, laptops, camera gear, um, anything techie, make sure you go check them out, subscribe and say hello because they're incredible people and they're doing really cool stuff as well. And you can pick up one of these. Plug. <laughs> so that's the new drone. I have shiny little new toy. Let's go test it out. I have a friend that is going to do a huge introduction for me and get me started and I don't know, just learn how to fly it first before we do any sort of cinematic stuff with it. And 
yeah. I just want to be able to fly like Johnny FPV. If you haven't seen that stuff, go check him out. The link's in the description below. He's an incredible flyer and has incredible stuff as well. So his, his channel is linked to below on his Instagram. So I'm here with Toby. Toby just give me a rundown. Uh, we have the quad just there. I haven't flown it yet. Got the goggles on. Everything's charged. He's paired up as well. Just in case I fuck things up. <laughs> and I can just dish him the controller. But yeah, this is the first flight and we'll see how we go. Toby did a little demo before and micro adjustments, nice and easy. Because this thing's got some some fang in it. Yeah, it got some punch, yeah. It's like a two-stroke. No, <laughs> <laughs> And then this one, move it slowly up. And now you can... This is getting scary. Alright, try to the six. Oh shit! <laughs> okay. Alright. So you're coming into that tree pretty hot. Yep. Alright. Oh! <laughs> Okay. Disarmed. <laughs> oh shit, okay. Disarmed. Right. Just turn that's, it off. Yeah, that's it. Alright, <laughs> fuck. Okay, we gotta go grab the Shit. <laughs> no, no, that's alright. That wasn't bad, man. <laughs> I was like, I think I kind of freaked out. Alright, grab your How was that though, first one? <laughs> Pretty good, man. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen worse. A lot worse. So we're just walking to find the quad. I crashed it. First flight. Toby said this happens all the time, so I'm not... <laughs> no. <laughs> you want a bit of dirt? <laughs> She's all sweet. Oh yeah. But nothing crazy. Just get like a um a dust brush or yeah. something like that. Because these motors can take a pretty yeah. good beating. Yeah, like it's all sweet stuff. <laughs> yeah man. You'd be able to you'd be able to arm the quad and take off again. Alright, sick. Yeah man, she's all good. So we're back from flying the quad. Uh, yeah, very interesting. It's a lot different from flying the DJI Mavic and yeah, the, the first person drone. A major difference is that uh, the Mavic just has a nice idle and it sits and then you, there's a dog barking. What I was saying is that the major difference between controlling each of the drones is that the Mavic has an idle sitting position so where you can just let it let go of the controls it will just hover in the air there's animals everywhere cat this is ambrose by the way ambrose <laughs> what was i saying oh yeah the drone just sits there this is the mavic it just sits there when you let go of all the controls it just hovers in the air the fpv drone you have to throttle it and then it has from ranges from zero to a hundred percent and then um you have to control that. So if you have it like full blown, it's just gonna go ping straight to the top, but that's also the throttle when you're having the controller moving forward, you throttle that to go faster as well. So getting used to that is quite tricky and it's very, very unique. I would have show you the footage that I had uh, for my first flight, but I don't have a GoPro mount for it yet. The footage that you would have seen was actually from Toby's drone. He has a GoPro mount on there, um, little TPU 3D printed thing. He can go there. I'm super excited. I can't wait to learn. Toby told me that I need to download the simulators um, on my laptop, jump on Steam, connect the controller, 
and then get used to that. So flying that little application in there. So I get used to just kind of having a sixth sense with the controller and just really learning that off by heart. So when I have the goggles on, on my hands and know exactly what they need to do. And yeah, just lots of practice and a lot of flying. But yeah, thank you so much, Toby. You helped me uh, like a lot um, in the learning process because the learning curve of it is pretty steep. But having you there and then tell me what this, this, and this, this, and this, and how to do that. Skills do transfer from the DG, DJI stuff, but it is a whole completely different world. It's another kettle of fish. So if you are jumping from that to that, just keep that bear in, and bear in mind with that, with that, that, that. That, that was a black cat on a mat. Sit that. How about that? Anyways, that was a little bit random, but I just had to upload something and create something just for my personal being, even though if it's one week or two weeks, I the fact is I did it. Uh, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed what was happening in this. There'll be more snowboarding. There'll be more camera stuff later on. Obviously, Bali. I still need to do Jordan. I need to do and also Disneyland Japan. I keep saying these in the vlogs because it put my ass on a burner to make sure I do it. And yeah, I don't know if you like what's happening around, stick around, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. But yeah, thanks for getting back with me guys. I'll catch you guys next time on the kickback. Bye.